So today it's a uh, hundred plus outside. It's a beautiful Los Angeles, California, July, and we're gonna talk about this beautiful Mini Cooper S. John works. So that's a 2015 car, and it's a first year of the new body, redesigned, new engine, twin turbo, four cylinder, 2.0 Mini Cooper. So because it's a Mini Cooper, John works. Basically, it has a weird, nice color. It has a lot of different things, like the front bumper. You're gonna see the difference. The rear bumper also. It has a lot of badges and the seats itself. It's a little bit different if you can compare with S. Is it worth it to buy this car and drive it? It is worth it to try it, to drive it. I mean, again, I would say in my opinion, the huge point of buying or not buying the car you have to try it i don't understand the people who's coming or the new car sometimes you order a new car or you come in and you just buying it so you're driving around the streets five ten minutes that's what they're going to give it to you max you're driving it and they're going to say oh are you going to buy it yes i'm going to buy it so you buying it you're driving it home you sit in the traffic your back starts hurting so the seat not designed for your body because obviously we have different bodies all of us someone a little bit bigger shorter wider or skinnier so you have to find the right car for you so if you want to find mini cooper already found yourself at that point where you bind the mini cooper i would say step back a little bit wait get this car for several days check it on different pl platform to drive it as a used car you can rent it for several days drive it around the block drive it around the city or maybe take it for a long trip see how you feel on yourself how your body reacting to this car and you're gonna understand if you want to buy it or no that's the smart decision and i see a lot of people doing that and a lot of people using my advice because sometimes uh I see the people coming and uh, I'm not salesman. I'm not doing the sales myself. I don't like it, obviously, because there is a lot of information to provide and some people, they don't want to hear it. But again, sometimes I'm giving advice if you're not, uh, if you cannot buy the, if they cannot buy the right car right now, I'm saying just take the car for several days as a rental somewhere, drive it. If you like it, come back and buy it. So that's kind of car. I would say get it for a couple of days, drive it, see if you like it or not but the idea of the whole car i like it i do like it and every time when i'm getting mini cooper i'm driving it for several days just to get that nice cool feeling about the mini cooper because mini cooper it's a small car when it's a turbo it's super fast especially when it's a four cylinder the one i have other one five door three cylinder turbo engine uh 2015 also um, that car it's a little bit different it's a little bit less horsepower it's a little bit more spacious inside plus the suspension on that car it's a soft this one just super tight because it's a sport performance mini cooper so is it cool to drive it it is a super nice to drive it especially it's a small one you step on the gas it's reacting right away almost right away not all the time but most of the time it is reacting right away it gives you a lot of power it gives you good steering so you can change the lanes on a freeway or in the city it has good brakes more than enough for this car and uh, just the idea itself for the mini it's super nice i like it and i want to share with you that experience so it's a uh, new for that year four cylinder twin turbo engine it gives you more performance it gives you more power plus uh i hope they illuminate all the problems wherever used to be on the previous one 2015 the same year they got the new body they got new engine but same time they've been doing old body style for the countryman or some other cars convertible one they were not so popular i mean mini itself on the west coast you're gonna see a lot of dealership you can see a lot of mini but it's not so many like in europe like maybe on the east coast in new york because the city because the parking spots and all that kind of stuff it's pushing you to buy this kind of car so it is a brand new like i say in 2015 they change it because the previous engine 2.0 on the s cars it just worst ever engine you can get for yourself 
And again, a lot of people buying previous or this one without knowing how many problems this engine or this car are gonna bring you. The previous body and the previous engine had a lot of problems with chains, misfire, head gasket, transmission, valve body, you name it. Oil leaks just constantly on and on and on. So in my understanding, in the whole idea of auto industry right now and before, uh, it just taking over all the people, all the industry. So basically when they selling or putting for sale, or putting uh, for production this kind of car, John Cooper works. Uh, they're supposed to put all the, whatever available best features on the car, but I don't understand. For example, this car has regular brakes. Why they didn't buy and put it on Brembo? It is gonna be a little bit more expensive, but you can show it everywhere. We do have a S, but we do have a most performance car. This one, this one, and it has different colors. You can buy only for the John Cooper works. But same time, we, did huge improvement on the brakes we put the brembo for you so you're gonna drive it fast you're gonna stop it much faster but this car has just regular brakes so it has a lot of different features like the heads up display it has partronics it has navigation panoramic sunroof backup camera and some other stuff so the idea of the five door mini cooper i think again they change perspective a little bit and they did the convertible cars but they're not so popular they did the pac-man the, the coupe Two door huge kind of SUV, the countryman, five door. Ah, uh, ah, uh, it's kind of they're trying to get as many people as they can on the market so the people can switch from the, some other cars on the mini. That's why they're doing five doors. They're assuming the people with the family are gonna buy the mini Cooper because it's much nicer. It is much nicer, but it's not that roomy like it could be. So, but two door mini Cooper that's the best one. It is iconic because the the previous one, the main one in 70s, 60s, 50s, whatever, they designed it and start production in 60s, I think. Uh, the Mini Cooper was a two-door car until some period of time, 2012, it was a two-door car. Why they change it, why they start doing bigger cars, I have no idea. But again, I think it didn't bring them that much success. And some of the Mini Cooper dealerships, the one I know by 101, I'm not gonna say where, but it's there. It used to be there, two of them right now, they're not over there right now it's uh honda or hyundai took it over just because uh it's not going for some reason and there is a lot of reason why it's not going and there is a lot of reason why used cars are going because if you're going to check the prices for those cars between for example john cooper wars you can buy between 12 17 000, maybe a little bit more if the mileage is really low what you can buy for the same amount of money for the same amount of money about the same year you can buy honda civic is a honda civic gonna comparable to this one definitely not so what else you can buy you can buy like hyundai elantra 2020 2019 eh, kia forte like i used to review before eh, not the same toyota corolla 2018 2019 eh, no not the same so there is nothing you can compare to that amount of money for the car like that so and if you're ready to buy it buy it why not it's going to bring you a lot of joy when you're driving at that performance all those doors the space inside the car the seats if especially if you're going to find the one like this johnny cooper the primary coupe and the special seats i mean it's gonna it's gonna bring you that feeling of the english british uh performance sport car the small one the one you can park anywhere on the street or anywhere in the city it's nice i mean if i would live somewhere in new york i would be single or if I would be a lady, girl, I would buy the Mini Cooper because whoever drove Mini Cooper before and whoever keeping it right now, they don't want to get rid of it because they get in that idea of the car itself and they living with that and basically they stay in fans till the end of the single period, life of time. So the idea itself for the performance, high performance car on a Mini Cooper, like you can see from the side of the car, from the front on the front bumper, from the back, you're gonna definitely notice that you do have a, that spoiler on the top, you do have a bumper and the color combination, it's just cool. So what about the space in the trunk? Uh, there is no space, you might gonna put some grocery. If it's not enough for you, okay, you can drop the back seat, then you're gonna have more space. What about the space for your friends? I mean, sorry. I mean, that's the that's the cool excuse, don't get me wrong. If you're gonna get the Mini for yourself and some people constantly asking you to take you somewhere, to take them somewhere with you, or like, can you, can you help me to move some stuff? No, I cannot, I'm driving Mini. So as soon as you're gonna say, I'm driving Mini Cooper, 
they're gonna in their mind they already know you have a small car you're not gonna fit their they they needs in your car and you don't want to take them because you drive a mini some people they might gonna refuse to go with you just because they drive in uh such a bigger cars they don't like mini at all but i do like it mini cooper s it's a nice unit to buy uh it's worth its own money and there is nothing comparable for the same amount of money you can buy especially if you want to buy something that's turbo engine high performance car that's the one but make sure you're going to take care of it make sure you know what to do you're going to check a lot of forums videos how to do this how to do that because the people who's doing maintenance who's doing repair for especially those kind of cars they know it is a english bmw kind of expensive and they want your money believe me or not they want to pull as much money as they can just because it's a not easy car to work on you know you understand this is not the honda this is not your regular colorola you have to pay 150 for the oil change i'm so sorry no i'm gonna go to the place where i'm paying 50 dollars for the oil change and they're still gonna be able to do so on the same car so as i say this is the small car on the market and space inside it's just not available for everyone who ever want to jump with you it is a car for two for you as a driver and for the passenger next to you i mean on the back you can put small kids make sure you're gonna tighten them really good but not your friends because if your friend's gonna jump on the back you're gonna have to move the seat forward you're gonna move the seat forward you're gonna have not enough space so basically better for them to take an uber because all of you who's going to sit inside the car you're going to be uncomfortable right for everyone so it's cool car for two and it's just nice design i mean design they didn't change it over the years it's still the same i don't understand why the seats they kind of comfortable but i think they more designed for italian people who's really i mean a little bit shorter maybe a little bit skinnier than me or for some nice beautiful ladies again i'm not the one so but it is cool i mean i can take it to the canyon to tapanga no i can take it somewhere and drive it fast down the down the road to the malibu but there is nothing else for daily usage it's not my type of car but it is a mini and it's super nice it looks cool and like I say, it's worth its own money. So probably when I'm going to review any used car, I'm going to check the uh, history, Carfax history, to see what's going on. Because this car has 97,000 miles on it. And it's kind of in really good shape. Because inside, there is not so many damages. The leather on the steering wheel is still okay. All the buttons, they are present. They're not falling apart. And to be honest with you, I mean... All the Mini Coopers after 2015, the one got a new engine, three cylinder for regular one, and like this one, four cylinder turbo engine. It is redone, there is a new engine, and it's much better. So the quality of the car itself, in my opinion, went up because it's an eight years old car and it's a John Cooper Works Mini Cooper. It's not only S, it is a special edition with Harman Kardon music sound system, it has navigation and it's in really good shape like i say so basically this car has two owners and it's been constantly serviced by dealer and uh, as i can see right now mini of universal city constantly 30 000, 40 000, 44 45 64 67 i mean constantly been taken care of which is super good but right now at this point at this year of the life this car needs more attention so all the problems you might gonna face later on or right now they need to they need to be fixed so only this way your super nice performance mini cooper gonna gonna make smile on your face otherwise why you buying mini cooper especially johnny cooper works so you buy it just to smile so the people all around you gonna kind of see you and appreciate not appreciate but they're gonna smile too because you know you drive a nice color mini cooper s which is turbo what i don't like and i have to fix that that's the sound of the tires so there is basically all four tires they use they worn out the the, the tires warning out especially in los angeles number one reason why it's happening that's your shocks so your shocks going bad your wheels jumping all the time you're driving it through this beautiful streets and 
because of the jumping, the tires worn out not flat. They're worn out on the corners. They start jumping. They make a noise. You don't like it. You have to spend money. So the oil change been done again. The buttons on the steering wheel, they they feeling good. They, the paint not peel enough and it's kind of cool. So again, in my opinion, from my uh, from my perspective, the people who's buying old BMW or old Mini Cooper, they do have a lot of money. They do have a lot of money, not because they buy cheap old BMW or cheap old Mini Cooper. They have a lot of money because they are ready to spend a lot of money for the maintenance. They are ready to spend a lot of money for the things what's going to break break down soon already broken and uh, again like the old uh, super luxury sporty nice cars any bmw you're gonna see your neighbor or your friend your relative driving you're probably gonna see a lot of different lights on a dashboard on a cluster uh, and it's kind of normal so what about the multimedia we have right here so multimedia we do have like i say navigation and uh as soon as you're doing on sport mode, the car already ready to go fast. So what else we're getting? We are getting heads up display on the dashboard. It is providing you speed. If you're going to check on that like this, if you're driving it, with steering wheel up like me right now, you cannot see any numbers on your heads up display. Yeah. Okay. I can see it right now. So what else besides, <coughs> besides the speed? Your heads up providing you probably is going to provide you a lot of red lights as soon as the time time going to come but right now it's not the time yet so there is no red lights yet on the heads up display on the clusters that's cool so the multimedia like i say it's not super easy functional you have to play with that period of time to get used to it mini cooper same way as the previous body as this one right now for some reason they're making it complicated so you're not gonna you're not gonna find a way to use the navigation easily so the screen itself needs some attention so the it's not peeling off but it's getting destroyed by the heat by the sun by your uh oily fingers it just warning out so sooner or later you're not gonna be able to see whatever is going on even right now it's kind of bleaking when the sun going on it and uh needs replacement sooner or later you're gonna buy it on ebay and replace it yourself or with someone's help so if you know where to buy the parts for this car it's not that expensive again like a brake parts some uh, some gaskets oil filters it's not expensive the expensive on this car it's a job whoever gonna do it number one they're supposed to know how to fix this or that because the things like for example your air pump mechanical air pump uh, for your brake booster and for your intake for your performance it has a gasket it's a small gasket from the dealer original one it is a three or four dollar i bought one before it's easy to buy it is super cheap but it's hard to replace it whoever gonna provide the job for you to replace that kind of gasket they have to know how to work with mini cooper they have to know how to reset it afterwards they they have to know how to adjust it because the Mini Cooper, it's kind of complicated car. Even the chains to replace it on your, uh, to re even to replace the timing chain on this car, it sounds like easy job, but obviously it's not. So, and uh, I had a lot of problems with Mini Cooper when the people saying, yeah, it's easy to do, just bring it in, just buy the kit and we're going to do it for you. So I was trying different type of uh, mechanics and different shops because uh, honestly, I cannot do it myself. I can do simple things myself because I do like it a lot, but for all the cars, I cannot give them all attention, uh, whatever they're asking. Because again, all the used cars, they want your attention. They want a lot of attention and some, some of them like old used BMW, they not just want your attention. They want a lot of money from your pocket or from your credit card. So remember that before you buy any kind of BMW or BMW family car. So there is a cool point I want to share with you guys. It's a high performance Mini Cooper, uh, John Cooper works, right? So it's supposed to be fast. It is fast when you, it is fast when you have a Silverado, old one. So it is fast when you drive it already, but it, what's happened right now, I was going to turn to the parking lot 
and I step on the gas and it was one, two, three, and after car goes. So basically you might gonna hit, uh, you might gonna get hit by other car if you're not gonna be super quick. So what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna put it on a uh, sport mode and right here, I'm just gonna try it and show it to you. So from the beginning, right? So I'm stepping on the gas and it's going, but it's going kind of slowly. But it's from the beginning, right? So you turn in, for example, now you want to step on the gas. You step on the gas, it's one, two, three, and after car goes. So remember, if you want to do some crazy stuff on the road, you want to turn somewhere, you have to wait. So check the time, see how far this car goes, and don't be stupid like I was going right now, just in the middle of nowhere. So thank you so much, guys, for watching me. And... Uh, Put some comments below, put some thumbs up. Let me know what you want to see. If you want to see specifically some kind of cars you never see before and you want me to review it or to drive it for you, let me know. I'll do so. Why not? Thank you so much. See you next time.